Hey YouTube, uh, you probably just saw, um, you might have just saw my live account. It's just got the Sears Suburban running. Um, actually wasn't much of a chore, just a little bit of uh, carb cleaner and fired right up. Battery was in good shape and you know, it ran well. Did one lap around the yard and came back. So now I'm, as I said in the video, the oil is pretty dark. So um, I'm going to uh, just jump on it now and change that because I have mulch coming on Monday and uh, I want to use this next weekend. I have a four day weekend next weekend so uh, I want to do uh, a lot of work with it. So, Well as you can see it's pretty dark so definitely needs a good uh, change. I think I changed this um, last year when I actually got this running. Uh, this is the engine that I got from Cranky Motorsports. Uh, it runs well, burns a little oil, um, but it runs well. So, uh, but it looks like it definitely needed to be changed. I used it last year to spread mulch, and uh, you know, it's uh, going to be definitely one of those engines that's going to be definitely a once a year oil change. So, got it drained. Um, I'm just going to throw some standard 30 weight in it and then check it. Uh, I forget how much it is. It looks like it's about, like it's about a quart, quart, you know, maybe two quarts at the most. Um, so, I'll just keep putting it in and checking it. Not even close. about halfway it looks like so try it again yeah about halfway so let's give it a smidge more hopefully that wasn't too much Now what I'll do is, I have an extra um, hydraulic line shorty. I replaced one last year. I'm going to replace, uh, I'll probably replace this one this year just to uh, get it done. I'll probably have to order a few more. Um, actually, these, these I, I got this, you know, it's made in China. Um, I'll go get the box and I'll show you. Made in China, I off ordered it off of, uh, Amazon. It seems to be work fine. Uh, eventually, I'm going to replace them all. Some of them I'll probably have to. Um, I'll probably have to, uh, you know, have them custom made just because of the length of them. Um, I like these because it was like just the right length, and it's the quarter inch. The funny thing is, this is, yeah, it's all NPT fittings uh, for the hoses themselves, so it actually worked out pretty good, pretty straightforward. So um, let me go get the uh, the hose, the doll hose, and I'll be right back. 
So here's the hydraulic hose. I ordered it a while ago. Um, and like I said, I got it off of eBay. Um, it's basically, let me show you. Right here. So Apache hydraulic hose, flexible uh, quarter inch by 18 inches, 5,000 psi max. So should be good for what I'm doing. Um, there's not a lot of. I always, uh, one of these times I will maybe put a, um, you know, pressure gauge on here just to see what I am getting. Uh, but for now, um, I'm just going to trust that 5,000 is good enough for this. So let me just adjust the camera and we'll take this off. I could get some Teflon tape as well. is the ugliest. It's from one. Uh, probably do. Probably do this top one. Uh, maybe this one. See which one looks the worst for the wear. Uh, I'll just do this top one. Let me see. Should have enough. Mm. Oh well, I'll just replace one of them and I'll have to order, I'll have to order three more just to get them done. too much. Goes on pretty good. I have to get a real I'll go get a real wrench so I don't slip on it. Um, I'll be right back. Hopefully this doesn't leak out. Alright, uh, it is 9 sixteenths so let's see if I can get We'll get a little bit of a melt. Tight first, and then a little, and then we'll go loose. Oh, this is not going to grip it. Ugh, so what am I going to do? Figure this out. Yeah, it's sliding too much. I'm going to strip it or break it or something. So let me. Uh, Vice grips or something. I think vice grip. Vice. All right, I'm gonna try the uh, uh, large Loctite or sorry, channel locks. Loctite. <clears throat> that worked. That worked. That's good. All right, 
before I take this off, let me clean it. Good. Oh, it's got some hydraulic oil on it. All right, so let's uh, let's get the other one prepped. Where they go with it? Always the case. Don't know what I did. All right, let me find it. I'll be back. All right, uh, found it. It was literally right in front of my nose, as usual. Um, so I'm just going to throw a little bit of uh, Teflon on it and get it back on. It's the wrong way. There we go. I normally do about two, two and a half turns of Teflon, so. Yeah, this one's, like I said, this is, it's really nice that this is, uh, it's just, you know, quarter inch NPT and a nine sixteenths wrench. Ooh, maybe not, smoke too soon. finish tightening this up and then I'll check the uh, hydraulic oil. Alright, um, I don't know if you can see it right here, I'll tip you forward. Um, in order to check the level on the hydraulic fluid on this Johnson loader, you basically have to screw off this, unscrew, <laughs> screw off, uh, unscrew this breather cap. And then I believe there might be a, a nut or something I think I need to take off as well. But there's a, a breather cap here. Little screw. Yeah, a breather. Yep, yeah. and then yeah. So I gotta get. So then there's this eh, just porous um, air filter, so to speak. I don't know really what it's made out of. Um, but oh well, let me go get a uh, socket for this. I'll be right back. All right, let's see. Um, Seven eighths socket. You get it, you take this off. Just unloosen it. It doesn't, doesn't have to be crazy tight. Again, it's just a, uh, a snug fit. And actually, I can see um, the spec is uh, it's got to be four inches from this hole down from here. And I could see it pretty close to the top. Be tough to see it with. Uh, 
Um, let me see, what can I use? I could probably use a wire or something, but it's pretty, it's pretty uh, close to the top, so I'm not overly worried about it. Let's see if I can just touch it with this. Maybe a little bit more. Uh, let me try. There it is right there. Oh, so it's, yeah, it's probably about maybe eight inches from the top. So uh, it's supposed to be four, but um, maybe I'll add a li little in before I go to use it. I'll just leave it for now. It's good, you know, it's close enough, but I think by the book, it's supposed to have um, be four inches from this top level, but I don't extend these really, really high. So I never really run out of fluid. It never really empties the whole system out, but so I think we're good for now. Um, I think that's it. I think uh, if we're ready for next weekend, I'll just have to put a little bit of gas in and uh, maybe check the tire pressure on it. And I think we're good to go. And I'll probably order a couple more hoses this week and uh, replace those as well. So, all right. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon.